Hey again guys, hey again, hope y'all doing okay. So I just went through one recording but it kind of got messed up so I'm just going to do a short version to it. It's about duplicating your body parts. I pretty much just went through the whole rigging patching segment with this arm here. Let me show you, just to make sure everybody's okay. Okay, so I have these pegs here, my patch, and I'll go to the drawing view just so you can see them. Note my art. Right, so I have my hand, which is down here. Looks like this, that was hand drawn. I have my lower arm patch, which looks the same as my upper, my lower arm, only that this only shows this area. If you remember how to do that, you come to drawing and you change it just to overlay alone. And you have your upper arm which is up here, you won't see it because of the art. And here's my upper arm. So all in all my arm looks like this. Right? So this is just a short tutorial on how to make duplications of your your well, yeah, your thing is. Probably notice I have a composite attached to something. Well, like I said, I was recording something before. But let me just change everything back to how it was. It was pretty much like this, right? With my, my pegs in the right places. Upper arm, lower arm, and hand. So what I'm going to show you is how to, you know, pretty much make a duplicate arm without having to go through everything. So I'm just going to rename this back to what it was originally, which was just composite and close with a nice little blue color there. So let's say, for example, now. Alright, this is what I did. If you want to make another duplication of this arm, what you would need to do is you need to create another composite. So let's pretend we have one composite, except the composite is only for the arm. We can make another composite for another arm. You could come over here to module library and drag in your composite. Alright. So I'm gonna do is that. Hold on Alt. Well, that doesn't work there. I'm just going to attach this to these. You'll notice that everything disappears until I attach this composite to that one. So now I have composite one, so I'll just call this composite arms. And I'll call this one composite arm. Right? And composite armor has everything for the arm. Composite arms, I'm hoping, will have more than one arm. So I'm just gonna I can either I can just highlight everything here or I could and copy it or I could highlight everything and group it. So I'll say copy selected modules or rather group selected modules. So it's control G is a shortcut group selection and I go and I rename this one arm All right close so everything is inside this one little box here you click on this arrow here gives you a thumbnail of everything in there click on this one it goes inside it and you see the mapping here top and arm and it goes multi port in multi port out so now I'm going to copy this here thing. So right click on my module, copy, selected module, and not paste, but paste special. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose, you know, you're going to choose always create drawings. You go to the advanced and say create new columns and you press enter. And you have another arm. So all you have to do is attach that arm here. 
let me just go inside this thing here and see what's going on just to make sure my pigs are in the right order yes they are going back to the top this one will look the same as that one only it's renamed everything well good thing the other one can't see it so you have this go to the top and you have arm and arm one so if you want to move something i guess you could add another how you say peg on top of that one so you have arm p and you have arm 2p arm p arm 1p now we could give another major peg for both of these rename it arms pp yeah and attach that there and i'll just give this one carrot over here or put it somewhere around here as well come to check out this peg and see if it's okay i'll just put that back where the first major peg was and I'll do the same for this one. I'm actually moving it for the two separate arms. So it's not rearranging one thing. Now I'm just going to move this to the side. This is the first arm. This is the second arm. I'm just going to move this second arm over. And I have another arm all to myself to manipulate and do all that I please. So that's two arms there. I'm just going to flip this one over so it doesn't look like two of the what right arm yes yeah, the right arm so i'm just gonna press four and i have it there pretty much done you can have them doing separate stuff so if you want to go through the whole animating thing again you have to remember to extend your frames right i'm just gonna animate the first one like this or something So I animate on going on, you know. Oops. Going down the hierarchy or something. Alright, I need to move this. Or rather this. So I have a major peg for both of them. So if I move this, both of them move at the same time. So that comes in handy. I'm just going to go inside one of these arms and start doing some manipulations then simple rotation going up going up So where was I? Let's animate the other arm. And we're going. Let me just shrink up everything. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Let's start small.
So I got something out of this. Camera mask it and something like that, right? So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Check out Second Corinthians 5. Alright, take care. God bless.